away. Blocking the wave. And here we go. Can they find anybody? They're going to go exotic deer. They've got the Thunderstrike to come out. The Leech Seed has been used as well. He's going to head into the tree line. The Icarus Dive will come through. The movement slow coming out. And they can still probably get the skill. They even use Gush. They've committed a lot here, but they should still be able to get it. Exotic Deer, one more auto attack. It's actually Pylai Die that gets it. And then Exotic Deer down bottom again. Pretty low on farm. Just got a Ring of Regen. Trying to get to phase now. And do they have Glimpse back? They do. It's level one. Here comes the Leech Seed. And Nisha is going to be able to survive. He also has a DD. Icarus dive in. The sleep is up on AUI 2000. Taking some damage. Should be okay, though. Going to try to get out. Elisa has a brain step at level 2. He'll turn into Pylai Die instead. Here we go. Remnant 4 looking for this kill. Sonic Wave coming out. Doing some nice work. Nisha almost going down to the tower. Can AUI find him? He's in the tree line. The last auto attack gets the job done. And Fata will find Elisa on the back lines as well. What a turnaround. A huge kill for AUI. There we go. Nisha trying to chase up the Fata. Siri chains. Glimpse back, remnant forward. Missed times oh. it though. And now Fata blinks blink. towards Nisha. He might die here because oh, of this. No. Oh, no. That, that is... was a misclick. That had yep. to have been a misclick. Because that wasn't even a max range blink. They are pinging on Pilot Eye. They want him. That was a Bane ping. They're going to lasso him up, brain sap him. Remnant forward, Pilot Eye at least has the infused brain drop, but won't keep him alive for much longer as Nisha will find himself a double kill. Beans grip yet? He's getting close though. He actually just bought the tome. That should be enough. Now down bottom, they're going to jump in the Omni Slash Blade Fury as well. They've got the Anchor Smash. Gush might have already been used. They'll get the kill with it. The MSS is going to back away. Fairy Fire. TP's going to complete for Nisha. Does he really want to chase this? Thunderstrike to come in. No glimpse back. Uh, just because, of course, it is an Ember Spirit. Envy going to get chased down. Drops the stick for a moment. And he uses it. The Fiend's Grip will come out. The Blade Fury is there. Might keep him alive. We'll see. Exotic Deer taking a lot of damage. Envy's going to phase away. Here comes Kcor. Remnant through. And yes, he will fall. Or at least he should. I could be in some trouble here too. No grip though. Yeah, Nightmare. Uh, he really needs some levels. Brain Sap to come out. Icarus Dive. He does have the Living Armor. There's the Kinetic Field. It won't keep him alive, unfortunately. As Kcor was inside the Kinetic Field. And so he will fall yet again. Continues to struggle. He's really just been stacking up top lane. Page is going to get caught out. There's the overgrowth just on the edge. He will go for the TP. The Leech Seed to come through. One more auto attack, and it's too long. He can't make it out. Patos is going to get caught. NP. If you fight into us, it's going to be really tough because your bat doesn't have a blink yet. They're going to try. They are going to move in. Nisha, they do have Ravage available. Exotic Gear is going to walk up as well. Nightmare, Fiend's Grip. They want NP. They might commit a Ravage here, but it looks already too late, and they're going to try to just back away instead. They might lose more. MSS, they have the Rune of Defatsa. Sonic Wave will come through. He's got Ravage. Will he commit it? The Lasso comes out as well, and they're going to lose three heroes, it looks like. Not a great fight for NP, and MSS will not commit the Ravage. There's too much damage. They've already lost two of their big cores. He is tanky, but he should still fall here as the ranged rolling axes come out. A couple more auto attacks, and MSS is down. Yeah, I mean, and Fossa had, I, I don't want to say a terrible start. It wasn't a great start. They did get the kill or rather than die, but hold that thought. MB is going to get lasted up. Here comes the Remnant. He is so far, and he's going to go for a Blade Fury. He does have TP, but they have Fiend's Grip, so they can cancel it. He's thinking about using it. They would rather not have it. The Nightmare will come through. There's the Searing Chains. If they can get this kill without Fiend's Grip, it would be fantastic, and it looks like that will be the case. And I mean, I guess that's just because he's usually the one who's hitting the tower, because no one else really does it on MP. Oh, Another there they go. Grip. Fiend's Grip. Ravage is going to get committed. They even use the Static Storm. That's all for the Bane, and now Patos is coming in. The Supernova Stun is about to be there. AUI will be the only one, but he is in trouble. Overgrowth. There's the mech. Can they fight this coming in? They need NV. He's coming in right now. Sonic Wave doing beautiful work. Exotic Deer looking for a TP. They missed the screen, but the Glimpse back is going to be there. They'll lose two on MP side, but they get the third. But here comes Nisha. They want the skill on Fanta. He might be able to make it away. Blink in four. Omni Slash. Slide of Fist coming out. He's low. They get the double for Envy, and now they're turning on Patos as well. Can they grab this kill? Fanta blinking back in. Patos juking back towards his T1 tower where it used to be. Now they're still there, actually. The Gush will come through. Looking for more. Envy coming in. The healing ward is up. There's the Shadow Strike. Firefly trying to get up to the high ground, and that might be enough to get away. They want to take this tier 1 tower, and it's low. Can they grab it? Finally, they will get it. Now coming in is the Blade Fury. Peito, Scream of Pain going in his way. He's got to be careful. Gush coming through as well. Envy zoning everybody else out on the other side of the fight, and Peito should fall. One more auto attack. Oh, nice. He gets denied. He fireflies right over the creep camp, and he gets it. Now at least it caught. There's going to be the huge niche. guys hit with the root coming through. Still more. Blade Fury coming back in, and another Another Thunderstrike. So many abilities being thrown out at NP. And now mass TP is coming in from Singularity. Dyer's Looking for a Nightmare, Elisa. The Blink is there. Blink lasso. The Gush, though. Can they turn this around? They need this kill on Pilot Die. Ravage coming in. Static Storm on top of it as well. Pietos will fall first. 
The Orchid is out onto Elisa on top of it. The Omni Slash inside the base. Can they get this kill? It's the Blade Fury that does the job. Here comes the Battle Trance, but not in time. Envy. And they've dropped the Healing Ward, the Overgrowth. I think they've found Nisha on the other side. He's low Scream of Pain. Nature's guys hit Slight of Fist, keeping him alive. One more auto attack and the Gush to get the kill. Three now down, and MP looking to put more pressure onto this tier two tower. You can offer a brain sap, but you can't expect him to sit there and channel a team's grip when you're outnumbered that heavily. Yeah. And now, again, abusing the cooldowns of MP, looking for a pick here. Yeah, and they should be able to get it too, although MSS, the Kraken Shell, of course, helping out. Anchor Smash has come through. He is so tanky. The Supernova now committed. Static Storm not in time. Bata in trouble. Tripped with Remnant. They cannot get the kill with it. He is able to get out. The mech comes through. MSS will finally fall. But again, they lose the Phoenix on the other side. So it's a one-for-one -one trade. But looking for more. Overgrowth coming in. AUI 2000. Nightmare. It's going to be two dead for MP. And perhaps a third. Here we go. Whirling Axis to come through. And this, that's the perfect fight for Singularity. K-Core will live, and then Nightmare to follow up as well. And they should have Fiends Group. Oh, 23 seconds, but they don't have Blaster either, huh? Searing Chains. They should still be able to get this kill. I mean, they rotate everybody. He oh, gets the he Sonic Wave off. Did he kill K-Core with that? And, you know, he's canceling some bot usage, sure. But at the end of the day, Nisha doesn't really care that much about it. It, it just, oh god, Envy. Envy again. Lasso up. The Battle Trance will fly. The Fiends Group as well. And he is donezo. It is just the first Rosh no cheese yet. We'll see if they want to commit to a fight. A UI is going to walk over, but is it going to be in time? They might not even see it. They're going to blink in. Overgrowth will come through. They do know that this is happening. Can they get in there with the Ravage? They want to fight this. The Dust will come through. He's trying to fight it. They get the Orchid off onto Paytos. Ravage not there yet. He sees Roche is low. Static Storm coming in. That'll be onto the Bane. Fatsa pops the BKB. Sonic Wave. Cancel the animation. In the meantime, Nisha gets the kill on Pylidae and looking for more. Everybody TPing home because guess what? Envy is split pushing bottom. And he's got a Blade Fury. Meanwhile, the Nightmare back onto MSS here in the fight. He is a bit alone. Ravage committed. The Overgrowth. The Sonic Wave to fall off. That's what they were looking for. They'll grab one. Can they get more? Here comes the Lasso. The Remnant through. And somehow, Singularity are turning it around. Meanwhile, Envy is back at the base. They're all forced to TP. He's put some pressure on the range racks, but they could sure use him with that Omni Slash. Pesos chasing down AUI 2000. Or is it him who's being chased? The Urn going through. The Anchor Smash to fall off. There's that Nature's Guys hit. Again. Again, Kraken Shell doing some work for MSS. He's also got that Anchor Smash to help out. Now they're coming back in. The Root, they will find this kill as the Searing Chain is coming from Nisha. Oh, this and, could uh, be so bad for NP. They have no ultimates and NP's super low right now. He is no healing ward or mana for that matter. He needs this to get out. This could have so hard. They do not have Ravage. Buyback coming in from the Tramp Protector. He doesn't have Overgrowth for eight seconds pretty soon. 24 for Pilot Eye. If they can hold off, they might be able to take this fight. And Nisha is so tough to deal with. He wants Envy coming in. Searing Chains. Blade Fury coming out. The Nature's Guys hit coming through. They have the Kinetic Field on top of it as well. The Remnant comes out and they get the kill on Pilot Die. Nisha is owning a mega kill spree coming in for him. I don't know. It's, it's still looking like Singularity have a really good opportunity to take this game. All right, here we go. Orchid coming out. Nisha, Yule Scepter up, trying to keep himself alive. Yolner Static Shield, they actually get the Nightmare off on MSS. Here comes the Static Storm. He walks out. He walks out of the Kinetic Field. He's still alive and he's just fine. Pylai Dia is now down and k -Core coming in. Supernova is ready. He might pop it, but the Ravage comes through. They get the kill. Can they get Exotic Deer? It's the Aegis down and that's it. But it is going to be three dead for now. Pressing back up. That'll be Exotic Deer. Going to try to turn this. Pops the BKB, but there's the Overgrowth. Nisha needs to help out. They're auto-attacking down. The Nature's guys, they're kiting him so well. They're keeping him pinned down. They get the kill. Death for 73. That is the fight they're looking for. Beautiful stuff from MP. They only lose Pylai Die at the end of the day. The auto-attack's going in the meantime. The armor is up. Fata now going to work. And there's that buyback. And they might need to back away. MP are committed. Here comes the Orchid. It's on a range creep. That's not what they want. They get the last off. The Bash is coming through. The Overgrowth. They need to get this Rax. The Fiends grip up. Envy somehow still alive. Getting bashed up the Supernova. They can't get the Rax. They might need it back. Sonic Wave. Nisha. Ravage coming through. Can they get this kill? Slide of Fist coming out. They get the Rax. What about Nisha? One more auto attack. The Shadow Strike. He'll go down. It's a die back. The Static Storm covering it as well. Pastor is going to be in some trouble. Can they find this kill? At least they will get Kegor in the meantime. Rax and a dieback from Nisha, and Fata's still alive. Yes, they lost Envy. They blink up. Wards are down. Fata about to get jumped on. Kinetic Field will go. They know they're on the high ground there. Kinetic Field's still there. Nisha on his own high ground. But if his steering chains, the Orchid will go. They need the follow-up, though, and Envy trying to turn and fight him, but 
He's well, fine. Now the they find the Fiend's Grip. AUI is going to follow the Supernova as well. This could be good. They take down the egg at the very least, but what else can go on? Exotic Deer pops the BKB. They get off the Static Storm, but no follow-up. They have Ravage. They really want to wait for this BKB. They use it, and it just hits them somehow. The Omni Slash to go. The Gush is there. The Sonic Wave is on top of it, and they should get this kill. A double for Fata. He turns and gets the Bat Rider on top of it, and now Nisha is alone with little to no mana. In fact, he's out of it. The Shadow Strike, he dodges it. Can he get away? The Gush, the Scrim of Pain. Fata gets the Ultra Kill. Beautifully done from NP. What a turnaround. MSS held the Ravage as long as he could. Incredible. That, that was such a good Ravage. But I think that... that might that, be it, man. Yeah, there it, it is. It, it was showcased, like, the, the biggest issue that Singularity were running into. They just didn't have the damage to kill Tidehunter.